Good morning, everyone. My name is Teresa Menting. I am the Executive Director of Gable Family Foundation and the Women's Empowerment Series. I am here with an exciting announcement this morning. So with everything that is going on, we here at Women's Empowerment Series wanted to go above and beyond and support all of our community women in this time of uncertainty when it is so easy to come into fear and anxiety and feeling alone. Women's Empowerment Series is going to provide a nine week Facebook empowerment takeover with nine local women who are going to be discussing topics and ways where we can stay empowered during this time of isolation and uncertainty. Women's Empowerment Series is committed to empowering and supporting the women and children who are struggling in our community year round, especially during the times of crisis and not only during our 12 week series. These empowering segments will address difficult situations which will help women in our community find hope and connections. We are taking a situation that would normally consume us with worry and turning it into a real conversation about real issues with real women. We need to stop worrying about what we are going to do and start talking about how we are going to get through this. And the simple answer is together. As a sisterhood, confidence through community. See, even on our t-shirts, confidence through community. So join us each Thursday night, Central Standard, Standard Time at 7 p.m., live on our Facebook page for Women's Empowerment Series. So Women's Empowerment Facebook page on Thursday nights at 7 p.m. Be there, be there. And we will have our virtual program called Empowerment Exchange, cultivating confidence through community. Every week, local women will take over our Facebook page by speaking on a topic that is important to them and moderating the page with inspiration and discussion throughout the rest of the week. Find inspiration, empowerment, and sisterhood in a community while a nation that is hurting. So these women are going to be talking about current real life struggles from being cooped up in the mental health that people are going to be going through, anxiety, um, comparing themselves as parents, um, also talking about the stress of being home and the anxiety of domestic abuse and violence, um, as well as staying fit and healthy. So each week we will also be giving away a item that is donated by a community member or a local business. So for all of you who watch, who comment, who share, you will be put into a drawing. And every week, post it on our Facebook page the day after we will announce our winner. So starting us off strong this Thursday at 7 p.m. live on our Facebook page is I have to be my own drum roll because we're in isolation. <clears throat> Arletta Allen, who is a motivational speaker, and she is going to be talking about staying strong through the storm. So Arletta Allen will be sharing a positive message about getting through this unknown storm of empowerment and staying empowered for women and staying positive. We also will have Erin Flood. She is going to be talking about the non-Pinterest parent. So all over social media, I'm sure you are all seeing these um, perfect schedules and all these activities you can do. Well, let's be real. It's sometimes not that easy. And if you're already struggling with mental health and um, struggling with uh, all of the uncertainty and the unknowns of what is going on, it is not easy at all to even think that way. And then the comparison is going to build up. So. Now parents are becoming a principal in their house and a teacher and having to take complete control over their children and their household and their lives. And we have moms working from home who have their kids trying to watch a movie or trying to work on their homework or um, moms who might have currently just lost their job because of what is going on um, and having those stresses of 
What am I going to do to pay my bills? So she is going to realistically talk about solutions and empowerment for yourself and your family. And Erin will also discuss being active at home and she will have a challenge that she's going to create for parents and children to stay active. Another speaker that we are going to have is Amber Killaway. She is from United Way talking about relevant resources. So how awesome is that? Um, Amber has a plethora of knowledge, including United Way's uh, whole entire resource community. Um, she's going to be talking about what is the right number, what is the right organization to call in this time, and what are some new resources that are available for women and families? Um, Meals on Wheels, how is that operating now? Uh, homelessness, uh, domestic violence, all the different places to go, where to get food, um, all of that. So she is going to be talking about the current relevant resources in our community. Then we have Maria Turner from the Women's Fund. Uh, Maria is going to be talking about maintaining the calm in the household. So right now it is a very intense time. There's a lot of close quarters for a lot of people, which can cause a recipe for conflict and a lot of craziness. So how can we maintain that calm in our household? Uh, we want to make sure that we are aware of domestic situations that could be happening. Um, also not being triggered um, into other emotional stressors as well and understanding those warning signs and what resources are available right now for women experiencing any sort of domestic situations. Uh, we then have Carrie Ann Smith who is going to be talking about mental wellness during a crisis. She's from Rawhide. So uh, she is going to be talking about what can you do to ensure that you are taking care of your mental and emotional health during this crisis. <clears throat> All the different anxieties and triggers and not un knowing what is going on, just feeling so stressed and um, feeling alone. Even though we feel so connected virtually on Facebook, we live all via what's coming, posted, um, but we still can feel very alone. So um, also people that have been dealing with seasonal depression, now we're being stuck in a little bit more. So how can we deal with those situations and mental health and mental wellness during a crisis? <clears throat> Our next week, excuse me, is Christy Schmitz. I'm very excited about this. Christy, I'm excited about all of them, do not get me wrong, but Christy is one of our Women's Empowerment Series graduates from last year. How cool is that? Yes, lots of likes on that. So Christy has graduated last year and she's gonna be doing Discovering Empowerment, a Women's Empowerment Graduates Strategy. Christy is so involved in the community. She is consistently giving back. She has these fantastic ideas talking about how we should do this and how we should do this for our community. And she gets her kids involved in volunteering together, making cards for um, the nursing homes, doing little projects and um, things that we can do together as a community. But letting families know you do not have to have money to give back. You can do things that empower you by giving back. It makes you feel good, really good to give back. That's why we're here doing this, because it makes us feel good. Christy's also gonna speak about additional resources that are available on a nationwide level. So right now, there are tons of different resources and assistant programs that are added because of the COVID-19 um, issue going on. So she's gonna be discussing a bunch of those. Uh, next, we have Tamara Omen, who is going to be talking about what are our, that's a tongue twister, wellness strategies shift your perspective. So talking about mindfulness and creating strategies and how you can navigate them, using resources and connecting that we are not alone at this time. You are not alone. But... We have also been given time to do many new things right now. So what are your hopes and dreams? Tamara told me that one of her hopes and dreams was always record herself singing. So she bought a microphone and she's now recording herself. Take those bucket list items and cross them off. Now is the time to do you, now is the time to do it. So Tamara's gonna talk about those things as well. 
Next, we have Ashley Went, who is our co or who is our chair on our marketing committee and our advisory board. She is very active in women's empowerment series, and she is going to be talking about the self confident closet. So, she is going to be talking about how it's still important to dress up when you're at home, even if you have nowhere to go. Curl your hair, put on some earrings, put some lipstick on. Guess where I'm going today? Nowhere. I'm here, but it will make me feel a lot better while I'm vacuuming or while I'm working to feel good about myself. So feeling good about yourself, motivating yourself, even if you're going to build a Lego set with your kid, feel good about it. I am going to do awesome on that Lego set. So women, just feeling good. Yes, I'm going to wear my sweats. Yes, I probably need another pair because they're getting worn out, right? But let's feel good. Let's make ourselves look good because we deserve it. Even if the only person you see is your kid with runny noses, it's fine. So I'm um, just going to talk about that. Ashley's also going to be showing women how to go in their closet and vamp up and make use of items that they already have to make them all stylish and trendy and go over trendy new looks. You do not need to spend a penny. You just need to go through all of your stuff in your closet and we are going to be here to um, help you revamp up your wardrobe. And then we have Jan Padrone. She is going to be talking about my body, mind, and soul. So some mindfulness strategies, strategies to keep on moving, tips and tricks to keep your body moving even when you don't want to. And activities for the entire family. Simple changes for eating out, healthy eating and little things you can do to stop snacking out of boredom. So ladies, that is nine awesome speakers and nine awesome topics who are going to be talking about real life situations in our new virtual program that will be nine weeks long called Empowerment Exchange, Cultivating Confidence Through Community. So remember to join us every Thursday at 7 p.m. on our Facebook page live, and we will have prizes, some really awesome prizes from community donors and sponsors that we will be giving away. We want to um, support and show all of these cool things that you can do once we're out of this cooped up home. <sighs> right? I know. But who's going to be here this week? I hope you're all here this week at 7 p.m. to see my dear friend, Arletta Allen, starting us out strong about staying strong through the storm. We here at Women's Empowerment Series appreciate you so much. And I am so excited, so excited for us to do this for our community and for us to join together as a sisterhood because we could not do this alone. We are all in this together. I hope you have a fantastic day and we will see you on Thursday at 7 p.m. Bye-bye.